remember, some of our words, instead of just three sounds, will have four sounds, and some even have five sounds, okay? So I want you to listen. You're gonna repeat after me. I will go first, and then you will go, okay? Um, Riley, if y'all will scoot back a little bit, thank you. All right. Thank you, Isaac. Remember, I say the sounds first. You hold up one finger at a time to say the sounds and blend it together, okay? All right, my turn. T, er, e, p. Trip. Excellent. D, er, e, p. Drip. Very good. G, er, e, p. Now, some of us already know what the word is, which is awesome, but I still want you to say the sounds first and then blend it, okay? My turn. G, er, e, n. G, er, e, n. Grin. Grin. Very good. F, er, a, g. F, er, a, g. Frog. K, er, a, n. Rain, very good. S -o -a -g. S -o -a -g. Slow. Can you show me your fingers? Show me your fingers. S -w -a -n. You try. S -w -a -n. Swan. Great, guys. Last one. S -n -a -k. S -n -a -k. Snake. Excellent job, snake. Can you tell me what all of those have in common? What is the same about all of those words that we just blended, if you were listening? Riley? They didn't all rhyme, but that's a good guess. What were all the words? What was the same? We had frog. We blended crane. We blended slug. We blended swan. And we blended snake. What is the same about all those, Bane? Um, we can blend them together. You can. Yes, that is the same. You can blend all of those words. And you'll make a, a, a letter and make a, another word and you can sound it out. Okay, good. Inslee, can you tell me what's the same? Okay, you're right. They all are four sounds. Very good. What else is the same? What about the category? All of those words are what? Isaac, eyes on me. Riley? They have the same letters in the first beginning. They're not all the same beginning sounds. Some of them are. Some of them have the sound. So, guys, they are all animals. Okay, they are all animals. All of those words that we blended. Good. Okay. Now let's go over our sounds, some of our letter sounds. Okay. So when I show you the card, I just want you to say, it. tell me what the sound is. All right, show me eyes. You say, mm. you say, mm. you say, mm. you say, mm. you say, duh. Now remember, if we're not sure which way, remember what can we do with our hands to remember if this is the d sound or the b sound. Raise your hand, what can we do? Isabel? Make a bed with our hands. Everybody show me your bed. Okay, and remember we read from left to right. B, e, d. This is the d sound. Good. You say. You say. Yeah, this. You say. G. You say. Mm. You say. You say. B. Remember B faces to the right. You say. W. You say. J. You say. Y. You say. And you say. Very good, kiss your brain. Excellent. Okay, now let's go over our letter names. So you have learned your letter sounds, but remember all of our letters also have a name. So if you look up here, we have our alphabet. So remember the alphabet is the name 
of the letters. So we know the sound, but these are the names. So you can use your alphabet to help you. As I point to each letter, I want you to say the letter with me, okay? We're not going to sing it. We're just going to say it, okay? Say it with me. A, A B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, if you're not sure of what they are, what can you do? Instead of say the letters, what song can we sing to help us? Your ABC song. Yes, so you can also sing the ABC song to help you with the letter names. So this time, oh, wait for Miss Tamarick. This time I want you to sing it with me, okay? So let's sing it now. When we get to L-M-N-O-P, remember we're going to say those slow, okay? Say those slow with me. Let's sing it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, good. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good. So if we are naming the letters, you can use your ABCs to help. So I'm going to write a word on the board. Okay, somebody raise your hand and tell me what is the sound for this letter? Not the name, the sound. Isaac? Guh. It is the G sound, which we know are sounds. Now, who can tell me what the name of this letter is? If you're not sure, you can look back at your alphabet to help you name it. Does anybody know the name of this letter? Lillian? A G. You're very close. Okay, let's look up here and find it and see what it is and sing our song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What is it? G. G. Good, Lillian. G. Okay, now let's look at this one. What is this letter sound? What is the sound, Evan? Uh. Ah, very good. It is a. Uh. Now, what is the name of this letter? The name. Bang, can you tell me the name? U. Very good. It is U. That is the letter name. Now, look at this one. What is the sound for this letter? Um, Cohen, what's the sound? M. The sound. Yes, good. So, the sound is M. Mm, and the name of the letter. Emmanuel, what's the name? M. M. It is called an M. Very good. Can anybody read this word for me? Cause we and we read it by using the sound. G, uh, mm. Raise your hand. Maddox, what's that word? Gum. Excellent. We blended it. G, uh, mm. Gum. Very good. Okay. Now, show me eyes. Show me eyes. Isaac, show me eyes. You see your eyes. Body check. Show me body check. Body check. Okay. Now, today we're going to talk about this letter. Now, raise your hand. What sound does this letter make? What sound does it make that we know? Riley? Yeah, good, Janessa. It makes the s sound. What I'm going to tell you today is that it also makes another sound sometimes. So it doesn't just make the sound. Sometimes it makes another sound. Okay? The other sound that this letter makes, sometimes it makes the z sound. Just like our z, our, the letter z says z. Sometimes this letter, this is the letter s, sometimes it makes the z sound. So we, this whole time, have been saying s, but it also makes the what sound? Z sound. Now, it is almost always the s sound at the beginning of words. So if you see this letter at the front or beginning of a word, it's going to say s most of the time. But when it is at the end of a word, sometimes it will make the z sound. So when will we use this as the z sound? At the end. Yeah, when it is used at the end of a word. Not always, but sometimes. I'm going to show you some examples of some words that make the z sound at the end when this letter is used, okay? Oh, oh, <gasps> silly me. Okay, not right now. All right.
right, guys. So one of this word, I want you to look up here. Okay, this word. Usually, if we were to sound it out, we would say what? Is. But it's not is. This is one of those words where the sound is going to make the z sound. So what would this word be? Is. is. Raise your is. hand. What would this word be? Isabel? Is. It would be the word is. Everybody say is. Very good. Now I'm going to show you another example. Okay. This is another word where the s sound is used as the z sound. Who can read this for me? Cohen? Excellent. Catch your brain. Yes, yeah, so let's sound that out together. <sighs> I Z. What's this word? His. So it's not his. It's his. This S makes a Z sound in that word. Okay. Here is another example. Okay. This is going to make the Z sound. Inslee, what would that word be if that makes the Z sound? As. As. Everybody say as. 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 It makes the Z sound there. And there's one more example. Okay, somebody read that word for me. What would that be if it makes the z sound at the end, Evan? As. As. Excellent. I love how you sounded out your word. As. Has. Very good. So those are some examples of some words that make this letter s makes the z sound. Now we're going to work. We're going to do our sheet together. And we're going to practice reading some words that have s as the z sound at the end. And we're going to be filling in our sentences. So what I need you to do is when I call your table, you're going to have a seat. You get your pencil ready, and we'll get started. If I can get my handout help. We are going to, instead of the s sound, we're going to use the z sound. Because these are words that have the z sound at the end. So when you read it, instead of saying, instead of saying if, if, it would be if, z is. We are going to figure out which word belongs in the sentence. So we're going to have to also read our sentence to figure out which word makes the most sense. So let's see, somebody read this first word for me. Let's see, um, Bain, will you read that first word for us? Okay, try one more time. At. Yep, you said? As. Very good. As. Everybody say as. Okay, I want you to circle the word as on your paper, and we're going to figure out which sentence, which sentence would fit with the word as. Somebody read number one for me. Number one. Can you read that sentence? It has a blank in there. Let's see. Riley, will you read number one for me? Stan, good Stan. And we can just say blank because there's nothing there yet. Mad. Very good. Okay, guys. So it says, look up here and show me eyes. We have Stan, blank, mad at Fred. We need to figure out which word makes the most sense. We had as, Stan, as, mad, at, Fred. Does that make sense? No. That doesn't sound right. That sounds silly. Somebody read this word for me. Let's see if this word makes sense. Inslee, what's that word? I, Okay, so what sound does this make? Does that make the I sound? I, I sound. Okay, so we have I, I, is. Very good, is. Let's see if is fits. Stan is mad at Fred. Does that make sense? Stan is mad at Fred. Does that make sense? Yes. yes, it does make sense. So we know is is going to go in the blank for number one. All right. Stan is, so remember we start at the dotted line, I, and then this S is going to make the Z sound. Is. Okay, so make sure 
Your daughter did well. I'm okay on that. Oh, I see some nice, neat handwriting. Okay, right here, make sure your daughter did well. I'm okay. Give me a thumbs up. If you finish, thumbs up. Hey, we have this word right here is. It's going to go right there. Good, guys. Okay, number two. Somebody read number two for me. Read number two. Let's see. Isaac, will you read number two for us? Oh, very good. Okay. Everybody show me eyes. Jim blank not met Tim. We have to figure out what word we're going to use. We've already used is, so we're not going to use is. Let's mark a line through is because we know we've already used that one. Jim blank not met Tim. Okay. What was this first word? What was that first word? Riley, what was that word? As. As. Okay, let's see if it fits there. Jim as not met Tim. Hmm. No. Oh, I don't think that makes sense. So it's not that one. Okay, somebody read this word for me. What is this one? Let's see. Maddox, read this word for us. His. His. Very good. Let's see if that makes sense. Jim, his, not met Tim. No. Does that make sense? Jim, his, not met Tim. Does that make sense, Isaac? It does not make sense, does it? Okay, let's see. Um, Isaac, read McGill. Read this one for us. Okay, what's that first sound? It's not a bus sound. What is this first one? Look on your paper. What is this first sound? Remember that yeah. one? <gasps> what sound? Ah. Uh, and then it's going to make the z sound. So, ah, uh, z. Can you believe that? Ah, uh, z. Jazz. You're very close, but instead of the j sound, we have the h sound. Ah, z. Has. 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 You got it. Has. Okay, let's see if has fits. Let's see. Jim has not met Tim. Jim has not met Tim. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, that's our word. So number two, we're going to write the word has. <gasps> it's tall. Ah. Z. And remember, it's still an S, even though it makes the Z sound. Has. Okay, number three. Somebody read number three for us. Let's see, Cohen, will you read number three for us? Oh, I can't hear her, friend. What is it? Great reading. Now, Cohen, I had heard a few friends um, talking, so will you say again for us a little bit louder so everybody can hear? Guys, put your finger on your paper and listen while Cohen reads. Cohen, go ahead and read a little bit louder this time for us. <laughs> What's the last word? Dad, good. Remember, guys, when you sound out your word, make sure that after you blend it, you say the word, okay? So we had Ted is blank dad. Ted is blank dad, okay? So we have this word and this word as a choice. What was this first word? What was this first one? Riley, what was that first word? Um, as. As. Ted is as dad. Does that make sense? No. That doesn't make sense, does it? Okay, let's see. What was this word? Evan, what's this word? Is that the A sound? What sound is this one in the middle? Mm-hmm. Okay, try it again with the is sound. His. Good, his. Ted is his dad. Does that make sense? Ted is his dad. Yes, it does. You're right. Okay, so we're going to write his on number three. 
is. And then we'll mark it out since we've used it. And then that first one we started with, let's make sure it fits in the last sentence, number four. Let's see, who wants to read number four for us? Anybody want to try to read number four? Anyone? Uh, let's see, Ansley, read number four for us. Guys, I want you to put your finger, we're going to track our words, put your finger on the first word on number four while Ansley reads for us. Is that a buh? What is that? Mm -hmm. It's not buh, it's a duh sound. Try it again with a duh sound. Mm -hmm. Keep going blank, and then what's that last one? Kim, I love how you sounded out your words, Inslee. Okay, guys, show me eyes. Look up here. Let's read this one together. I want you to read it with me. What was that first word? J. N. What's that first Jen word? Jen is not as sad blank. And then what was this last word? Kim. Kim. Okay. Our last word up there. What was that first word that we circled? Isabel? Is. Was it is? Look at your vowel. <laughs> what vowel sound is that? Yes. As. As, yeah, as. There you go. As. Jen is not as sad as Kim. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay, let's write as in the last one. As. Excellent. Okay, when I call your table, I want you to put your paper in your basket. Great, hand ready. And then come have a seat on the carpet. So instead, usually we've done three sounds. Now we're going to do four sounds in here, okay? So, first word, let's go over our sounds first. What does this one say, our short sound? A. Uh, uh, what's this one? E. Uh, what's this one? A. Uh, mm, t. G. S. And now we know it sometimes says what? Z. Mm -hmm. B, that's the B, O, R. So I want you to look at this first word up here for me. All right, somebody read this first word. Isaac, will you read that word for me? Pan. Pan. Very good. Everybody say pan. 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 Excellent. Now I'm going to add another sound to this word. Can somebody read that word for me? I had pan and add the T. Sound. What is my new word, Ensley? Pant. Kiss your friend. Very good. Everybody say pant. Pant. So let's blend it. We would say p a n t. Pant. Pant. Very good. Now we're going to change some of our sounds. If I have pant and change the a to the a uh sound, somebody read that new word for me. Um, Cohen, what's that new word? You're very close. Don't forget your mm sounds. Hi. Say it again. Hi. Okay, and then we have t at the end. So listen to me say me. P a n t. Punt. Hi. Very good. Kiss your brain. Punt. Everybody say punt. 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 Isaac, Chris, call. Show me. Punt. Very good. Punt. Change the p to the er sound. What is our new word? Raise your hand. What's our new word? Riley. Runt. Runt. Everybody say runt. runt. Very good. Runt. Change the er to the b sound. We had runt. Change the er to the b sound. What is my new word? Evan, what's my new word up here? Bunt. Kiss your brain. I love how you sounded out your word. Bunt. Very good. Bunt. Laura, show me eyes. Bunt. Change the mm to the s sound. 
Isaac, what's our new word? Bunt, change the n to the sound. Sound it out. We're gonna sound one sound out at a time. Let's not guess, we wanna sound it out. What's the first sound? What's this first sound? B. B. Very good, those are the correct sounds. Now let's blend it. B, a, s, t. So I'll go first, you go. Watch Miss Tamara, let me see your hand and your fingers. Okay, b, a, s, t. A, s, t. B, a, s, t. B, a, b, a, s, t. So remember kind of, yes, good, kiss your brain. If you're having a hard time, you can always sing the letters. You can drag out your sounds to try to help you, okay? Because now it's not just three sounds, it's four sounds. Bust, change the b to the er sound. What is my new word, Bane? What's my new word? Bust, change the b to the er sound. Oh, you're very close. You have er, uh, what's the next sound? Rust. Yes, kiss your brain. That was great. Rust. Everybody say rust. 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 Change the er to the g sound. What is my new word, Maddox? Uh, kiss your brain. Y'all are so smart. Gust. Gust. Now I'm going to take away a sound. Gust. Take away the sound. What is my new word? Um, Isabel, what's this new word? All right, sound it out if you're not sure. Excellent, gut. And then gut, change the g to the n sound. What is my new word? Let's see who I haven't heard of. Lillian, what's my new word? Gut, change the g to the n sound. What's my new word? Okay, let's try it again. What's the first sound? N, a, t. You tap it out. I'll go first. N, a, t. You try. What's the first sound? What's the first sound? Mm. Mm. So your word's going to start with the n sound. N a t. N a t. N a t. You drag those sounds out. Nut. Nut. Yes. Nut. Good. Nut. Nut. Very good. Okay, now we'll have our vowels at the, put our vowels back at the top. Okay, now we're going to do a couple more. I'm going to put a word up there and somebody read that word for me. All right, what is this word? Let's see. Cohen, read that word for us. What is that one? I know you get another one. Read that one for us. Rips. Rips. Excellent. Rips. Change the er to the t sound. What's our new word? Evan, what's our new word? Tips. Yay. Great job. Tips. Change the t to the s sound. Let's see. Evie, sound this word out for us. Tips, change the t to the s sound. Let's sit. S -i -p -s. Yay, sips. Good job, Evie. Sips. Sips, take away the s sound. What word do I have? Let's see. Janessa, if I have sip and take away the s sound, what's my word? Let's sound it out. 
E P S P Sip. Good. Sip. Now I'm going to add a sound. Sip. Add the O sound. Emmanuel. What's that word? Good. I love how you sounded out your word. Slip. Slip. Change the I to the A sound. Inslee, what's that word? Slap. Great. Sounding out your word. Slap. Now we're going to take away the O sound. Isaac Gonzalez, what's that word? The right word. You sound it out. Sap. Great job sounding out your words. Okay, guys. All right. Hey, turn your bodies back this way. Turn back around this way. Okay, now our story, we have a new story today. And we've been reading out of our book, Kit. And our new story today, let's see if somebody can read the title for Yesterday we read Kit and Stan. Today, somebody read this title for us. Hey, Riley, can you read that? Kit. You're right, Kits. Mm -hmm. Very good. Kit Hat. So the story, guys, we're going to read today is Kit. Hats. If you notice, we have an uppercase K and an uppercase H. It is the same sounds as our lowercase letters that we've learned. So this still says K, and this still will make the H sound. So first, I just want you to listen. Put your listening ears on. You need a body check. Okay, body check. All right, listen as I read. And then I want you to listen today and pay close attention to see if you can tell me what kind of hats Kit has. Okay, what kind of hat she has. Kit has hats. Kit has big hats. Kit has flat hats. has fun hats. Okay, now, this time, there's something I want to show you. Um, when we are reading, if you notice, this letter that usually says, our letter S, is bold, which means it's black, it's very dark. What that means is if you see that when you're reading, that means it's going to make the Z sound. So that's why Miss Hamrick said ha, ah, mm, instead of half, okay? Because it's dark and bold. So when you read your book, you will know that it makes the mm sound. So if it's dark like this, what sound is it going to make? Mm. Mm, very good. Mm. Mm. Also, something else that we have not seen before. This is called, oh, let me find one. In the title of our story, this right here, this is called an apostrophe. Everybody say apostrophe. 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 That shows ownership. So Kit's hat, that means it is her hat. So, so if you ever see that, it shows ownership. It's Kit's hat. Now this time, I'm going to call on some friends to read my sentences, and then I'm going to ask you some questions about the story, okay? So Kit's hat. Somebody read the first sentence for me. Isaac, will you read that for us? Kit has hats. Excellent. Kit has hats. And I love how you use the zoo sound. Can somebody read this one for us? Bang, will you read this? Okay, look at your first sound. Okay, we won't want to guess. We want to sound it out. What's this first sound? 
Ah. Has. Great. Kit has. Sound it out. Okay, one sound at a time. B, I, G. Good. Kit has big hats. hats. Excellent, Dana. I love how you sound out your words. That was It was. All right, Evan, you want to read for us? Evan, read this one for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was that? Good. Hat. Oh, I love how you sounded out your words. Excellent. Oh, and Ainsley, you read that last one for us? Kit has fun. Kit has fun hat. So now we'll have some questions about the story. What is the story about? What is the story about? Isabel, what is the story about? Think of the title of our story. What is it about? Okay, about Kit. What about Kit? Kit's what? She's wearing hats. So it, the story is mostly about Kit's hat. What kind of hat does Kit have? So we can always look back in our story. What kind of hat does she have? Riley? Big hat. Big hat. Yeah, that's a tall hat. Maddox? What other kind of hats does she have? Flat hat. Flat hat. She has flat hat. And what? What other kind of hats does she have? Fun hats. Fun hats. She has fun hats. Where does Kit keep her hats? We're going to look at the picture to help us. Where does Kit keep her hats? Where does she keep her hats? Emmanuel, where does Kit keep her hats? I'm a broker. Okay, raise your hand. Emmanuel? In the what? Where does she keep her hats? Look at the picture. Where do you think this is? Where would you keep your hat if you were at your house? Oh, that's okay. Anybody want to help? Um, Cohen, where does she keep her hat? On the wall? Yeah, on the shelves, doesn't she? She keeps her hats on shelves. Who is the main character in the story? Who is the main character? Yes, Laura? A girl. Do you remember her name? You're right. Do you remember her name? What was her name? It's right here. Can you sound that out? We say K. It. What is that? Can we help her out? What was the main character's name? Riley, do you remember? Kit. Kit. Yeah, Kit was the main character. Now, I want you to think of a question you could ask about the story to help you better understand the story. Can you think of a question that you would like to ask about the story to better understand the story, Inslee? So remember, when we say a question, it means we want to know more about something. So we're not telling about the story. We're asking what we want to know more about. Who about the story? What? Why? Those types of when. Can you think of one, Inslee? When was the story made? When was the story made? I love that. Can we look at our pictures and help us? Let's see if it tells us. Does it tell us when the story was made? It doesn't tell us when, but that is a great question, Inslee, and that might help us better understand our story, wouldn't it? Very good. Oh, Laura, come here, sweetheart. Hey, Inslee, will you show Laura where the restroom is? Thank you. Okay, can anybody think of another question about our story? Any other questions to help us better understand our story? Any more? What about... Maybe why or who? Riley, can you think of a question? Thank you. 
Her name is Kit. Bane, hands in your lap, please. Thank you. Okay, so is there something you want to know more about Kit? What could you ask? Okay, so you could ask her maybe why. Why does she wear a lot of hats? Would be a good question. Good. All right, guys, take your brain. Y'all are so smart, and we are all finished.